how to find Mr. Perfect or Mrs. Perfect. So normally I got this question a lot. So sometimes people come to me and they ask me, you know, please, could you pray for me to find my soulmate? And then I ask them, what is soulmate? And they have many lists, you know, he or she understand me, there for me, support me, and special meditator. <laughs> so let's go on, on, uh, on, you know, many, many, many lists. So in a way, everybody talk about how to find my soulmate or Mr. Perfect, Mrs. Perfect. And normally, you know, I advise them, there's no such thing as Mr. Perfect and Mrs. Perfect. And many of them, not so happy, you know, <laughs> not so happy to hear. And also soulmate, you know, you think a soulmate this time, this year, but then after a few years it's changed. So most of the time, you know, people ask me to pray and I say, yes, I will pray for you, you know. But I told them I don't have that special power capacity, you know, boom, you will get the Mr. Perfect or Mr. Perfect, not like that. And most of the time they said, you just pray. <laughs> I will find. I said, okay, okay. So then sometime after a few months later, they come back and they said, now I found it. I found my soulmate. Perfect. Then most of the time I'm a little bit worried about it, you know. Really? I think that's very good. But I advise don't expect too much. Mind, don't fix too much. So the more we develop expectation, what happened? We will see more problems and we will have more complaints, he or she. Not like that. Not what I expected. You have this problem, that problem. You are not there for me. You are not support for me. Then. I said, okay, very good. You know, you found Mr. Perfect and Mrs. Perfect. That's wonderful. And sometimes they, they go back. And after one or two years later, they come back. And they, most of the time, they cry. First they cry. And then, then they said, you know, last time that I told you that I found Mr. Perfect and Mrs. Perfect, but it turned out to be a jerk. And I said, what happened? and there's a lot of long stories. The important point here is, though the title <laughs> of this talk, how can you find Mr. Perfect, Mr. Perfect, but what I'm saying is there's no such thing as a Mr. Perfect and Mr. Perfect. So then what do we have? And normally I talk about Mr. Okay, Mrs. Okay. <laughs> that maybe can find. Why? Because though everybody has wonderful nature, everybody has the basic innate goodness, you all have capacity, you all have love and compassion, you all have wisdom, you all have capacity, potential, a lot of good things there. But at the same time, we have what we call ignorance, confusion, ego clinging. Craving, aversion, a lot of clashes, a lot of problems, a lot of mistakes are there. So we need to look at the full picture. Though fundamental level, we all are good, but we are lost. So now what we can do, we need to see both level, then there's no perfect, right? Mr. Perfect, Mr. Perfect, not there. So maybe I would like to share with you a story that um, one time there's a couple came to me, husband and wife, and they both are really suffering because the wife always worry and she's like worry about everything and husband always want to control you know, everything he want to control. And they both come to me and ask me, please, you know, help. 
pray for us and please help us. So they're expecting maybe I give special power, blessing, boom, tomorrow, no argument. So I told them I don't have that capacity or power. Sorry, I cannot help you like that way. And they both are a little bit sad and you know, please, please help. So then I told them, though I cannot help you like miracle way, but I can teach you something. And both of them said, whatever from you is okay. So then I told them about every day to make half hour time to discuss about the positive quality within each other, like positive talk. So with that half hour, only focus on the positive qualities and um, talk within, discuss within each other. And they say, yes, we will do that. And they're gone. And I haven't met them for a few weeks. After a few weeks later, both of them came and they said, half hour is too long. <laughs> so they try to discuss something and within five minutes, topics run out. And they look at the watch, you know, still 25 more minutes. And they become quiet and look at each other. And they try to discuss something positive, you know, first time when I met you and you're so kind, but, you know, before you're kind, but not now, but. But they, they cannot talk about that. Then they keep, keep quiet and silent. So then they asked me, what should we do? And I told them, okay. I can give you a discount. So what is the discount? No need to have hour every day, but every day, five minutes. And they say, oh yes, yes, that's good. Five minutes, we can do that. So then they both gone. And I haven't met them for one year. And one year later, they both came and they said, thank you so much for your advice. Now, half hour is not enough for the discussion. So I was quite surprised. I was not expecting like, you know, like that way. And I asked them how um, that helps, how become like that. So they said, they discuss about only five minutes every day about the positive things within each other. Then actually they discover there's a lot of good things within each other. And there's a lot of love also, kind also, but at the same time, they both are not perfect. And they both have a lot of mistakes, personality trait, the biggest thing they said, the personality, difficult to change. So then what they do is, they accept who they are. The husband accept wife, wife accept husband, and still wife worries about everything and husband want to control everything but of course they still try to let go and try to learn from their mistakes and they try to support each other and to transform each other but still they may make a lot of mistakes so then what they do is they bring awareness about each other's personality and they discuss they talk about and also they kind of like make it as like humor they put sense of humor so for example the husband finish work and come home knock the door and he's saying the most powerful person in the world is coming you know he's making humors about his controlship or pride and the wife opened the door and she said the most worrious person welcomes you <laughs> so and they give each other special nickname. The husband's name is Control Freak and the wife's name is Worry Freak. But at the same time, they really love each other now. And they can discuss about anything. They become good friends. And they support each other to learn to grow. But both are not perfect. And they accept that. So it's just okay. <laughs> they both become Mr. Okay and Mrs. Okay. 
So normally that is not only the Mr. Perfect and Mrs. Perfect, but everything in our life, if we expect too much, the strong craving and expectation comes, then we only see the more like negative aspect. But then we accept who they are. There's space for mistake, space for a problems, but not just give up, learn from mistake and grow from obstacles and problems. Relationship become more healthy and whatever relationship become more last long. I think really important that bring this in your social circle with the friends, with the boss, colleagues, staff, and with the society that uh, to accept who they are and support each other, learn from each other to grow, to transform. Thank you.